All right, today got an ice maker. An ice maker. Uh, this is actually a really nice ice maker that I purchased last year. And everything was fine up until a few months ago when it started, uh, there's a, there's a water hopper in the top if you want to use it manually. You can actually plumb this. I didn't plumb it, I was using it manually with just tap water. And I think what happened is there's a valve in here that goes from the water reservoir into the cooler. And I think what's happened is that that valve has become dirty. So I want to check and, and see if I'm correct on that. Uh, otherwise, see if I can fix it. So what, what was happening is the water that was in the reservoir was just draining through into the ice tray. Uh, into the ice, ice collection tray. Sorry about the dogs. It's you know, life with dogs. Uh, so I'm going to take this apart and see if we can figure it out. So this is the water hopper. Normally you can see how dirty this is just from the regular tap water. See, but down in there there's a couple of wires that go to a solenoid that drains from here. And that is keeping it from getting out. So let's see if we can figure out where those go. Out of these wires going into this little control unit, or I don't know if it's a control unit or if it's just a uh, yeah. terminal block. Man, that's tight. Much better.
This is a fairly common solenoid water valve. My guess is that there's a plunger in here that's got something like, oh, I don't know, dog hair blocking it, keeping it from uh, sealing up. Huh, look at that dog hair. How could that possibly happen? So this is the inside of the valve. You can see there's a little bit of schmutz and dirt in here. And what happens is normally this plunger is held in place and presses against this part of the water inlet here so that any water that's coming in can't go down through the drain hole. And then when the solenoid is engaged, it pulls this up so that water can flow through and go down this little tube. So I'm going to bring these inside, wash them out, and put it back together, and hopefully we get something that'll work again. Okay, this is the spring that holds the plunger, plunger under, or pushes the plunger. So let's stretch that out a little bit to give it a little more pressure against the uh, uh, against that platen, uh, whatever you want to call it. A quick check on the solenoid valve before I put it in is a blow test. When I blow into this, there's no, nothing getting by, so I'm pretty sure that is going to be watertight for any water that is in there. Now, if I suck on it, it comes back in, which means that it's working just fine. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Now, put it back in. do is you see this looks like it's supposed to have something here that uh, isn't there. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to cut this piece of scotch bright and push it down there just to use as a filter. Because I mean this is pretty porous. It's not going to let kind of real particulate matter in. That should keep this from happening again anytime real soon. That actually fits pretty good, just as is. I don't think I need to trim that. I think I'll just leave that. All right, cool.